Hi guys, my name's Dave, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm making this cribbage board on my x carb CNC. If you want to see how I've done it, just stay tuned. Okay guys, first I designed my cribbage board in Inspire, and you could do this with the VCAR Pro 2. This is what I've got. Uh, I designed my ovals first of all to the size of my board. Then I added the hose to it, and then I added the Ford logo. Uh, and I made the keyhole slot. This is a preview of the keyhole slot. We, go, we went over and we done some tool pass, the drilling operation, logo, the cutout, and the keyhole tooth bath. The keyhole tooth bath is the first one I'm going to do. It's, this is going to be on the back side of the board, and then we're going to flip it over. Uh, let me show you a preview of what all this is going to look like. I'm going to draw the hose. And I'm going to paint mine black in the center here, just like this right here. I'm not painting this part right here, but this is basically you know, what it's going to look like. So, I mean, so let's get carving. Okay, what I've got here is a piece of white oak. It's 16, roughly 16 and a half inches long, and it's seven to seven eighths inch wide, and it's 25, 30 seconds thick. We're gonna make us a cribbage board, and I'm gonna put the Ford logo in the center of it. So sit back and watch. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do, this, this is actually the back side. I'm gonna cut the keyhole slot, and I'm going to put it down here, then we're going to flip the piece over. Okay. Now we're going to flip it over. And then list the others up. I am drilling the hose here with a one eighth of an inch end mill. We got to drill over 360 holes here, so this takes a while. I'm using the same 1 8 inch end mill here to pocket out where the Ford logo is going to be. Now I'm pocketing it out right around where the hose is. I'm pocketing it down about an eighth of an inch. Okay, this is what I've got so far. I pocket this out and I pocket this down here too. Now I'm going to put in a tapered bit and finish the detail work around the Ford sign. Okay, this is what I got so far. I was gonna cut an oval 
out on here, but I didn't allow myself enough room for my cutter and my hoe downs. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is just square the ends up and make it that way. I need to sand the top of it here. I think I'm gonna sand the top of it before I do anything else. Then I'm gonna have to hand sand around the letters a little bit. Right here, right there. Get some of the fuzz off. This is a uh, white oak, so it splinters up some. I think once it gets finished, It'll look pretty good. So let's take it and do some sanding on it. We're using 100 grit sandpaper here just to begin with. Uh, we'll finish up with some 220. This is the hardest part about any job, hand sanding. The X car does a pretty good job. Sometimes it's your cutters, the speed, the wood, and too many variables. To add some contrast to the wood, I'm using black craft paint to paint between the, the forward lettering uh, where I pocket it out. Okay, I painted in between the forward sign and I've got a little bit on the top layer. I ain't worried about that because I'm not I'm gonna sand that down real good. I'm gonna let it dry overnight. So if I need to touch it up any, if not, we'll sand it and then um, put her finish. After letting the black paint dry, I took some 220 grit sandpaper over the entire surface. Okay, we're going to apply some uh, oak stain. It's called golden oak. This is white oak instead of uh, red oak oak. Curious what it's going to look like. I think it looks pretty good. I think I've done some before. Okay, we'll let that set on there for a few minutes and we'll wipe the excess off. Okay, I've let it set on there about 15 minutes and I'm going to wipe it off. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. We'll, we'll let this sit overnight. Okay, I'll let it dry overnight. And uh, I think it looks good just like it is. So we're gonna spray some clear over it. Spray the end pieces first. Yeah, it 
looks pretty good. Let's let it dry and see if we need to put another coat on. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's finished. I've got a couple pegs in it and we've got the cards beside of it. It's time to play a game of cribbage. Now there's only one problem. Now that I made this, I'll have to learn how to play cribbage because I've never played before. I just thought it'd be interesting to make. Hey guys, when you're not playing your game, you can hang it up for decoration on the wall. I mean, this is a great feature of it. 